this guy i swear man's been banging on about harvey barnes for as long as i can remember i'm not yeah. surprised i'm not surprised but do you know what when i see his stats like i said earlier when i see his stats pop up 10 goals this season in 23 games before that one the other night i was like wow yeah. he scored he... 10 fucking gold he goes under the radar it's like 20 you know you, like... under, you, you just underappreciate these players sometimes because you you don't see the big flash name like a Pogba or an Odeal or an Sanchez. He's 23 years old. He's still got his yeah. whole career ahead of him. Bro, he scored a sick goal the other week. I can't remember who it was against, but it was no backlift and he just pinged it straight in the back of the net. I was like, fuck you, know, you're all right, mate. Yeah, <laughs> to be fair, though, last season his shooting weren't the best and that's what he was being called out on was his final, you know, his final third sort of thing. But now he seems to have worked on it a lot. He's, uh, he's coming along coming on well i think gareth southgate was sat in the stand again when we was against southampton i think he was watching a couple of players uh including barnes i think he was looking at justin and um who is it for southampton the young lad is it ward prowse or something oh, ward prowse yeah, yeah 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 he's a good he's a good player he is a very good player he's a very good player and and you know what yeah it's going to sign him go and sign him we're we're linked to um we're linked to martin odegaard right so are we? funnily enough i've just seen that so are we? well you're linked to him as well yeah what do you think to him? Because like Arsenal fans have seen like Arsenal fans go with the flow. So we get linked with Jose Mawa. Oh, he's the next Messi. Then we get linked with uh Julian Brandt. Oh my god, he's amazing. Then Ericsson. we get linked with Ericsson. We're linked to Ericsson. I, I would take Ericsson over all of these players right now. And do you know why? Because <sighs> that guy knows the league, you don't need to adapt. Yeah, yeah you can afford him. We can't. You can afford him. Yeah, but I, don't, I think you can. Like, no, we your can't. Wage is not stupidly mad, and he ain't going to be on stupid money at Inter, bruv, because they're Mate, not that. He rich. wants three and a grand a week. Have you not seen the reports? He what wants he three and a grand what a week. He gets two different Le things, Le 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 Leicester will pull out of that shit. If they ain't going to pay three and a grand a week. Even Vardy's not on three and a grand a week. No chance. Who, who is your highest player? Like, I mean, what, what's I their think, wage? I think Jamie Vardy is. I think it's like 150 or something like that. It's not. You know, it's not breaking the bank like what's his face. Oh, is it? Especially when what's you it? look at a Bamian on 350, bro, 375. Then yeah, that's, like, that's a joke. It, it's mad. It's mad. Who, um, how much is Madison on? Uh, he's got to be about 110, I think, the last time I checked. Maybe a bit more because he signed a new contract, didn't he? So, might yeah, be last more, season, might, be, might be more. Now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. That, I wanted to ask you this as well, right? Because I didn't know this until the other day. I knew Vardy was in his 30s, but when they came up with a graphic the other night against Chelsea, yeah, right? <laughs> and they said 34 year old Jamie Vardy, I was like, Fuck you know, yeah. It was like, it, it was like a, a Patrick Truman moment, bro. I was like, 34. <laughs> yeah, Patrick bro, Truman. <laughs> man, man's not really fallen off either, is he? Let's Benjamin, be the Benjamin Bottom of the Premier League, isn't he? Benjamin Bottom. I'm 34. It's mad. I'm 38, bruv. Like, both of our hairlines are moving like Sadio Mane's, bruv. Like, I can't Mate, lie. <laughs> Speak for yourself. <laughs> but, uh, I couldn't believe he was 34. And do you know yeah. what? Yeah, like, just coming back to the season when you won it, that whole season, yeah, the, the vibe of that season where it was you were the underdog, City had fallen off a little bit, everyone yeah. was playing a little bit iffy, but you had that Ranieri vibe, you had the you had the jokes in the press conference. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Ah, Morris, you're my sharks. Ah, you're my sharks. You forget. We win the Champions League. Dilly ding, dilly dong. Come on. <laughs> dilly ding, dilly dong. Exactly. <laughs> Bro, everything about that season, yeah, reminds me of the, or that, or this season reminds me of that season. This season is there for grabs, bro, yeah, because every single team in yep. the top 10 yep. is fucking up, yeah. You yep. started off with a couple of iffy results here and there, but you've picked up and you've gone on there. Yeah? Man United have done the same. They got slapped by Palace and all of a sudden... Uh, they got no... slapped by Spurs as well, didn't they? 6-1. Yeah, yeah, 6-1. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've yep. got Man City. I don't, somebody put in my chat earlier, I don't know if it's true because I ain't checked it, saying that uh, Kevin De Bruyne is out for two months. I don't know if that's, that's true. Yeah, I read that earlier. And uh, Aguero's out. Yeah, I read that earlier. I don't know if it's Aguero's true. Aguero's got right? COVID, isn't it? Aguero's got COVID, so that so that could slump them for a little bit again. Yeah, this, this is the thing. And then you look at Liverpool. I was watching the game before we come. <laughs> Mate, on I'm the same year. height and was the same weight as him as well. Well, this is mad. Were you born on the same day? Well, I met his dad, and he went fucking hell. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what's mad though? Right, this whole season, real talk here. Yeah? Like I said this to the father-in-law last night. Funny enough, he's a Wolves fan. Yeah. Right? Oh. Yeah, I yeah. remember seeing something about you trying to get him a top or something. Is that right? 
Oh no no that was the uh that was the grandkids. Club, yeah, oh, the, right. yeah, the club took the piss, bruv. Yeah. yeah. Right, so I had to stick it on them. But you know what? I said to him after the game against Chelsea, I said, like, yo, they're fucking dark horses to win this, mate. And I said, I'll tell you something, yeah. The fact that the media, the fact that the the when Madison comes out and, and says, No, 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 we're just focusing on the next game, that is exactly why you have got to where you were at. I know man you gazumped you last night, yeah, but you have a chance to win this, and I would not put it past Leicester to win the title. And I'll tell you something now, right? If Leicester win this league this season, yeah, that backs up every single thing I've said about my football club for a decade. Yeah. <laughs> because you know what? You've got the best recruitment team ever. Yeah. You and Southampton, Ajax, all three of you, you can argue which way, whatever. You get rid of Kante, and out of nowhere, and Didi rocks up. Yeah. yeah? Yep. Then you get rid of Mares out of nowhere, Harvey Barnes rocks up. You yep. get rid of another midfielder, Drinkwater, for example. All of a sudden, yep. Tillemans is in midfield. Chilwell. Yeah, yeah Chilwell. You got rid of him. You've and we got the Luton Carfu. You've got rid of Maguire for so £80 million. Pound, and you've now got Sionchu for five. By the way, by the way Sionchu, was, Sionchu was already in the squad on the fucking bench for a season. We didn't pay yeah. any money to yeah. replace him yeah. at the time. We just put yeah. the money into the bloody club to build in the, the glorious piece that is the... Uh, oh, I can't lie, that looks lit, bro. I can't lie. And do you know what the funny thing is, yeah? Is you've got um, Chengiz under as well. Yeah, yeah, from, from AS Promo. Yeah. Every time he's come off the bench, like I said this to Turkish the other week, he told me how to pronounce his name properly. Chengiz under. Yeah, Chengiz under. <laughs> Yeah, bro. I didn't realize how quick that guy was. Yeah. yeah. And when he came on against us, yeah, yeah. impact, Bang. impact, impact. Yeah, he does it every time I've seen him come off yeah. the bench. He makes something happen. Yeah. And I don't know whether that's the <laughs> luck of, of your manager. I don't know whether that's because the manager's not lucky. He's doing it and, it and it happens. And he knows when to impact the game. The way you played us and you dropped Vardy on. As soon as Mr. Yeah, but he was injured, wasn't he? He was sort of not quite fit. That's why. So Brendan Rodgers knew he didn't have Vardy. So he put Barnes up top, who's never played forward before. So he thought, mm. if we can hold out for about 60, 70th minute, we'll put Vardy on and then we'll go fucking guns blazing. And what happened? Look at that. Yeah, we yeah, played three yeah, with Tim. That it's should it's be illegal. Good. Leicester should be put, put, put somewhere. <laughs> the, the owners yeah, and... put on. As soon as we put Mustafi on against you, man went, yo, Vardy, get up, bruv. Get yeah, up. Come on. Yeah, Mustafi's yeah, on the pitch. Yeah. 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 Then Schenger's under went on, and within two seconds of being on the pitch, bruv, 1-0. Yeah. yeah. And all the way through that watch-along, I said to Chig, I said, yo, this has got Vardy 1-0 written all over it, bruv. Yeah, because yeah. I just knew. I've seen the story a million times, and that is why I sit there and I get the ump, and that is why I sit there and I look at this league and I think, Man United are not good enough in the big games. They've they've drawn with City, they've drawn with Chelsea, they've drawn with Liverpool. They've not scored a goal in any of them, Yeah. They lost to, to Tottenham, spanked. They lost to us. What was the result with you against them? Uh, we beat Spurs 2-0. Uh, uh, oh, no, sorry, 2-2. There you go. So they've drawn with you. So they've drawn with four out of the top six, seven teams, whatever. Right? That is why they will not win the league. You slap Man City up. You slap Chelsea up. That could have been even more, bruv. You hit the bar. You had other chances. Yeah. Yeah, you we, we annihilated Spurs. We absolutely Spurs, and that is why you're a title challenger because you know what? You might drop the odd points here and there against a Palace or a Burnley or whatever, but you will go up in the big games and slap up a big team. Man United don't do that. Yeah, Chelsea can't do that. Liverpool this season are fucking they're struggling. Well, Mane, they're, they're, they're drawing right now. They're drawing right yeah, now. He don't even know what day it is, bruv. He don't even know where he is, Mane. He looks lost. They look lost, bruv. 78th yeah. minute, actually, it's their free kick. They're just and Man City have got way too many good players injured for them to... I know they've been on a good run and they're doing all right, but now Kevin De Bruyne's out for two months. I'm sorry. Aguero's got COVID. I know he ain't played all season, but yeah, yeah. two of their best players. You've got a good yeah. chance to win the league this season. But do you know the other team, yeah? Do not write off that fucking lockdown in N17 Tottenham, bruv. Yeah? <laughs> right? I swear. Yeah. If they win the league, bruv, yeah. JT oh, Hopkins bro. football fam. Jeez. <laughs> bruv, I got a bruv. I had him on last night. I swear. Trophy down, Mourinho. Jeez. <laughs> you Did know you their the way there. <laughs> Did you see the clip no. I put out of him? I, no, uh, he goes, no. people don't ask me why I call him Trophy Mourinho. I said, it's because he's 26 trophies. He's won more than Spurs. He went, exactly. I went, yeah, I got you. And went, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> 
It was like playing that champagne football. I said, yeah, the only bottle of champagne that's been opened at Spurs when the new stadium opened, you could do that fucking sky view above. That's the only time I've had a champagne bottle. Unbelievable. It's mad. It's mad. But listen, bruv, um, thanks for coming on, man. Big up right. to everyone who has watched live on Twitch and on uh, and on here. I will be uploading it to Facebook as well, Lee Gunner AFC. Uh, plug your shit, bruv. Come on, you deserve more than 5.620, bruv. Come on. I'm on the, on the road to 6K. Uh, been been doing this for about nine months, and we're at 5,630 subscribers. The counter's a bit behind, but who cares? Uh, go and follow me at Lee underscore Chappie, or click the... I'm in the title, and I? I'm in the title description. Yeah, yeah, go yeah, and yeah. click away. Yeah, let's subscribe right now. I'm, I'm doing some Leicester watch alongs, do Leicester stuff, and uh, I do collabs like this with uh, my man Lee Gunner and everyone go. else. Everyone else. There you go. Chappie's channel is in the in the description. No, it's not. It's in the title and it's yes. in the chat because Jamie, Stephen, Dunn put it in the chat as well. So listen, click the title, click the chat. Big up to you, Lee underscore Chappie on Insta Thanks and Twitter. Thank, yeah. and, Thanks for having uh, me on. Big up to you, my guy, man. Appreciate you coming on. And um, you should have at least 20K. I agree. Let's just hope See we can yeah, win man. it, boys, because the Invincibles win it. The Invisibles can do it. Come on, lads. Let's go. This guy. Listen, we're out of here, man. <laughs>